All right, 2019.8.5, the latest version with Navigator and Autopilot with no confirmation, no lane change confirmation. If you don't know what that means, it means it will change lanes on its own without me doing anything. And it has worked. And remember, I've got the slowest, oldest computer that was in the cars from 2012 to 2017, but somehow it still works. So we're gonna get on the DC Beltway in just a minute here, and we're gonna try it out. All right, here we go. Now, I guess it's not gonna signal here because we don't, have, whoa, but it's braking because that person's out of their lane. We are entering I-270, which is an interstate heading south down to the Beltway I-495, and it's Friday afternoon. Well, it's later, it's about 6.50 in the evening. All right, we got to have to merge here. We got some cars, a couple cars. We got to merge. And we're not even signaling, but we're merging. That's interesting. A little dangerous. You'd think it would have signaled. We're, we got the Navigator and Autopilot on. You can see that little blue rectangle there. It means it's on. So it knows, it's, it's got to know it's got to get out of this lane too. How's it going to get out? Let's, let's see what it's going to do. Okay, it's... There we go, it's signaling. Look at all those people, oh look at all those cars stopped in the main lanes. Good thing I'm not there. All right, it's signaling, but it's not going. When's it gonna go? Just go, dude. All right, I'm going to make it go because obviously there's a mistake there. You saw that, right? All right, this is just an accident up here. Let's see if we can get it, get it. Yeah, there is an accident up here. It's signaling again to go in the next lane. It's actually moving over even though there's a car there. And look, look at these emergency vehicles. What's going on? I don't know what's going on there. Okay, anyway. Now we're back. I'm going to bump the speed up to make it a little more challenging. 60 miles an hour and 55. It's suggesting it's going to make a lane change, but it's going to turn right into this car if it does that. So now it's decided it's changing its mind again. It's not doing that. Okay, so it rethought it. And again, I have the slowest computer. I'm surprised that any of this even works. I don't have autopilot 2.5, which you think might be necessary to do this. Uh oh, there's a car about to get crunched right in here. Oh no, oh, it's not going away, okay. I thought that lane was gonna end. Actually, it, 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 we have to get over there if we're going onto the main lanes, but it's not gonna put us onto the main. Wait, it is. It's gonna to try to signal. It's gonna crunch me into this crash attenuator. Wait, it's see, it signaled, but it didn't go. It did that same thing last time. I did. I did this video about a week ago. Same course. Did the same thing. You'd think it almost put me into the crash attenuator. Let me know in the comments what you thought about that. That's crazy. Why would it signal so late? Is it just because my computer's so old and slow? Because it seems pretty inaccurate if you ask me whoa sorry about the white balance all right now signaling again don't put me into the crash attenuator all right it did this last time it got on the, see someone went into the crash attenuator there let's see if it signals to get onto the main road the main lanes is it gonna signal no like that's the second time it didn't signal that's, I think that's an, a huge oversight. You can't drive like that without signaling. Do they have regulatory approval for this? I did lots of videos on that, by the way. I think it might be a joke. I think there may not be any regulatory approval needed. Could be that Tesla and Elon Musk want to start their own insurance company because all the insurance companies are going to drop Teslas because they're allowed to do this kind of crap. What do you think? Let me know in the comments about that too. All right. So this is a rather uneventful area of the drive. And we don't really have much traffic in. I have a feeling we're not gonna hit much traffic either because uh, it's a late rush hour drive. Check 
that white balance going crazy. This thing's changed. I'm trying to keep, I always try to keep the uh, road in focus so you can see more of what's going on on the road and not necessarily what's going on on my dashboard. It's hard, it's nearly impossible to keep all that in focus simultaneously. You gotta choose one or the other. All right, now we're about to cross under the Montrose Road Bridge, if you know where we are in Maryland. And after that is our little time onto the Beltway. We're gonna get on the 270 Spur, heading down the Bethesda, and then around the Beltway, cross over into Virginia. Well, the road got a little wide there. with the camera here because we're not going to go over left anymore. We're actually, if we do anything, it might be a, a, a lane change to the right. We'll see what autopilot suggests for us. Or not just suggest, actually does. Now you can see down here it's widening, the local lanes are combining, and then we're going to have a split here. We have to go right or left, fork in the road, and we're going to go right. See the change in the, the mark lane markings. I guess we're just gonna hang in this lane. Or the Tesla computer thinks we can anyway. So this means it's gonna have to make sure to signal right here because this lane is the lane that actually splits. You'll see you see it up here? At least I think it'll signal. If it feels it's appropriate anyway. Let's see what it does. No signal. <laughs> I would think of it. Is that a signal required there? Let me know in the comments if you think a signal is required. And I'm just kind of hanging out. Yeah, it's all right. I would think it's going to change lanes down because I'm just kind of hanging out here. There we go. And people are passing me, so you don't want to hang out there in the left lane, right? That wouldn't be cool. But it did that all, all by itself. I think we're just gonna hang in this lane for a while. That's kind of boring, huh? This is where the two semis almost crunched me. I got a video on that recently, if you want to check that out. Almost crunched by two semis right there. It was pretty bad. That's all I got to say is this system is not perfected yet. If I didn't grab the wheel, I would have ran into the side of the semi, maybe even ridden under the semi. I mean, I, it knew it was there. I don't know. You have to go watch the video to see what I'm talking about. Definitely knew the semis were, were both there.
think we're hitting any traffic at all here. Very un DC like. You guys ever taken a drive on this section of the Beltway before? We are on the Beltway now. Let me know in the comments. I've been driving on, I, I mean, I have driven on this portion of the road since back where I got my license in 1986 when I was 16. Probably before that when I had my learner's permit. Same with the, the area on 270 as well, but they didn't look like this. They were narrower. I think all the bridges have probably been replaced since then. Probably not as smooth either. So I think we're gonna make probably one more lane change. Although this thing keeps having me go somewhere else. Actually, I'm gonna reprogram it while we're driving. Let me cancel. Put in a new road. Uh oh, I made a mistake. Alright, there we go. This will get me off on the correct exit. There we go. We're back on. Pretty good on the fly, huh? Now I won't have to worry about taking over until the very last second. Okay, looks like it's got, it wants me to change lanes. Anybody there? Looks like it's clear. I think it can go for it. It's gonna go for it. There we go. Good job. What do you think? That was pretty clean. That was done all by itself. I think the next one if we have to do might be a right change also, I'm not sure. Now we're about to cross the American, there's a Model 3. Right over there, Model 3. We're gonna cross over the American Legion Bridge into Virginia, I'll give you a big, view up here from the top, there it is, you see it? It's actually not that bad for traffic for a Friday evening. A little bump there. Bumpy, bumpy. Alright, now we're going to have to scoot off to the right here. This lane also splits. We'll see if it does a signal or not, but there is a crash attenuator there in case we don't make it all the way. Let's see how we do. Last time I had to turn it off here on my previous video, but now it should do it by itself. Let's see, it's going to miss the turn. It's going to miss the turn. This is the way to go, I can tell you. Based on the directions it's giving me, this is the way to go. This is the second time in a row now that's missed the turn. It's crazy. But it put me in that crash attenuator potentially. If you guys know where, where I am, you know I have to get off here if I'm gonna get off at Georgetown Pike, which is where I'm going. There's a sign for it right there. Have to get off here. Had to already have been off the road right here. So that's some big mistake here with autopilot. I cannot believe you can't figure that out. I mean, it's never going to be able to drive with Navigator on autopilot if you can't do that correctly. Alright, now it's going to have me change lanes again, right? Is there anybody over there? It looks like we're clear. Are we going to make it? Because we got to get over two lanes of traffic now. And I think we are not going to make it. Look, we're not going to make it. No way. No way, no how. Oh, it's going to go one, right? Is it going to make it? Yeah, I guess we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Okay, cool. I didn't have to worry, right? But I need to make it right. Ah, oh, it's turning off. It didn't make the didn't make the lane change complete. I gotta do it manually. 
Anyway, that's it. Let me know your thoughts. It definitely needs a lot of room for improvement, as you can see here. I'm going to maybe make this a regular test track now with Navigator and Autopilot. I think it's, I think it's good. It's challenging, obviously. It, it's got some major issues that it hasn't solved. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Be sure that you give me a thumbs up. And also, hit that bell for notifications. See you in the next video.